Here we have Tech Team's number 941 non mortis, otherwise known as surface mount bed rail connector set. The set consists of four anchor plates that get attached to the headboard of the footboard and two sets of hook brackets that get attached to the, uh, to the bed rails. And the hook brackets are different. We have one set left and we have one set right and then we have all the necessary screws. First thing is what's the difference between mortise and non-mortise? Well non-mortise is surface mount just like this. It attaches right to the surface of the board. A mortise fit on the other hand is like this. The wood is routed out or cut out with some of the type of tool so that when the fitting is attached to it the surface of the fitting is flush with the surface of the wood. If you're building a new bed or repairing an old bed, the last thing you want to do is have to route out an opening so that you can get an exact fit for a bracket like this. Therefore, the non-mortise or surface mount makes the most sense. If you're repairing an older bed, and even if you're going to put a new bed together, one of the things you might consider doing is reinforcing the points where the brackets are going to attach to the rail and the head of footboard. Don't forget, there's going to be a rail down your bed rail and your slats are going to rest on that, the box string on top of that, and then anybody who gets in that bed, all that weight is going to be supported by the four corners. So you want to make sure that the joints and the connections are really strong. To do that, we just take another piece of wood like this. We take some wood glue. We drill some holes through this so we don't split it and we glue this and screw it right to the end of the rail and also to a headboard or footboard and then we attach our brackets to that. This gives us a much stronger purchase point and it spreads out the stress so everything is going to stay together for a long time. That being said, we're not going to do this for our demo because it's a little time consuming but you get the point. We're just going to go through the steps of how to put this together so things will fit. First thing we do is we put our one bracket on a headboard. Now we know this is not a real headboard, but this is just for example only. Now just to show you how this works, we're going to attach this bracket to the rail. Don't forget, this is our headboard. We attach this one to the rail, and this way the hooks slide right over, and now you get firm attachment. Once you get your two brackets engaged, you can just take a Phillips screwdriver, it's loose now, and you just snug that up and then you get a good, firm, tight connection that's not going to rattle around when you move around in bed at night. Now we attach our hook bracket to our rail. Now we've got our hook bracket attached. And we have a headboard bracket attached. And look at that. They fit together nice, tight, and flush. And once I tighten those screws down, it's going to be a good, tight connection. The brackets are made from nominal 2 millimeter thick steel that's been stamped, punched, and given a zinc dichromate finish that prevents rust and corrosion. In other words, they're really strong and they're going to last a long time. The bracket that mounts to the headboard is sort of like a, a, a U-shape, you see that here? And that's so that you have enough room to tighten down the screws so that you can make your joint really tight and squeak free. At the end of the day, when you want to make a good, solid, stable connection, between your bed rails, headboard and footboard, this is the way to go. In addition, when the time comes to uh, get the bed out of the room, move it to a different room, move a different home, just loosen those screws and bingo, comes apart just like that and you're good to go.